US President Donald Trump has announced he will temporarily close immigration into the United States following the coronavirus pandemic. Trump tweeted yesterday, In light of the attack from the invisible enemy, as well as the need to protect the jobs of our great American citizens, I will be signing an executive order to temporarily suspend immigration into the United States. The US has over 42,000 deaths and over 780,000 cases of COVID-19. It's the worst affected country in the world from the pandemic. The president's announcement comes as the White House argues that the worst of the virus has been reached in America. Hey America, I'm United States Surgeon General Dr. Jerome Adams, and I just want to say thank you for following the president's coronavirus guidelines. Social distancing, mitigation, it's working. Over 22 million people are now unemployed in the US, erasing 10 years worth of jobs gains in a matter of weeks. Trump has already put huge restrictions on immigration into the US, banning travel from Europe and China in March, for example. He had also previously agreed with Canada and Mexico to extend border restrictions to non-essential travel until mid-May. More than 6,300 undocumented Mexican migrants have been expelled on the southern border during the pandemic under emergency laws. Before the coronavirus pandemic struck the US, immigration into the United States was around 1 million people per year, according to Pew Research. However, this number will likely drop dramatically this year. The president's announcement was criticised by Democrats who claimed the curb on immigration was more about politics than protecting public health.